Si todos los derechos son universales y el Internet es un instrumento para el ejercicio de muchos derechos, también debe ser de acceso universal. You have this promise of the internet that it has always been held up to be, which is this unprecedented tool of liberalization and democratization and freedom, which it can still be if the internet stays free. But on the other hand, you have the potential of the internet to become the worst and most extreme form of repression and control ever known in human history if we let it be turned into a surveillance society. That's the crossroads we face. Yo creo que la privacidad como la libertad o como la vida es un derecho y no es una mercancía. Y nadie puede negociar con los derechos de las personas. You would think that democracy is exactly the mechanism that we would use to represent the ordinary user as opposed to the business. But instead we see democracy serving as the tool of the economic interests as opposed to the interests of the society as a whole. And so transparency, again, is a method, but the goal is social justice. The goal is democratic oversight. Individuals deserve privacy, but democratic institutions require transparency. So transparency for institutions and privacy for individuals. Cryptography helps us with both of these goals. Sin privacidad, no puede haber libertad de expresión, porque la falta de privacidad es un elemento de intimidación. Se intimida al comunicador. The point is that the next generation of civil rights leaders, the next generation of human rights leaders, is being born online. And that's why the internet is so critical to me.